So first we're going to close the emulator. First we're going to the game loop. When we go to game loop, we go to this part and we're going to uninstall the game. After we go to the Google Play Store, search for PUBG Mobile and we can check that it's not installed. So we're gonna quit the game loop and go to control panel and uninstall the program. So here we're gonna uninstall the game loop first. After it, we're going to look for Tencent. You can see here are some files that are left. We're going to delete that. Let's just double check on the and you can see it's here this part is also After it, we're going to press Windows and R and type it like this. There are temporary files. So after we finish with all of that, after you don't download the game loop by Florian Bechira, first you're gonna install this one. Okay, after this is finished, you're going to start it. So you can see when you open game loop, it says that new version detected, update now, but you don't want to update it. You're going to cancel the update and cancel the Call of Duty. After it, we're going to install the PUBG Mobile. So what we're going to do here, we're going to cancel it and go back. So here we're going to press the button F9 and we're going to the browser. So here we're going to type PUBG Mobile and we have right here. So here we're going to update. After that, what we're going to do, you can see the PUBG Mobile is still here. We're going to close it. We're going to fix the settings. I prefer it like this. We are not going to update it from here. So you can't play directly from here. If you click here, it's gonna update and it's gonna give you some errors and gonna lag and stuff. So what we're gonna do, we can see here in target, add this command at the end. So this is the command that we're gonna use. So we're going to the game loop, a shortcut that is in desktop, for more options and properties. So here we're gonna copy this one we're going to the end of the line, we're going to make one space and paste the code. We're going to apply and press OK. So from here, we're just going to 
double click it and it's gonna open directly the PUBG for us. So keep in mind, don't uh, click this one and don't update it right here. So now we are going to wait till the PUBG opens. We need to update it and we need to download the maps and the other stuff. Okay, so we are finally here. I'm going to log in real quick. So now we can see that it is much better for now. We're going to try now another game and let's see if it's any better. me. 